start out. <laughs> How do I do live? Do I get this? Is Mimi doing live? No. Are you trying no. to go on the... Um, hey, y'all! So Hi, y'all! Are people okay, on that's it? Hey, y'all! Hey, y'all! <laughs> Is this the okay. Oh, a little twinkle. Baby, stop. Oh. Your face is on that. No, I'm not. Woo! Oh. <laughs> They're on. Mommy, there's people on. Okay. Can you start? I'm going to see mom do it. Come on, that's where you was at, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's see my video. They said hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, y'all. We're struggling over here. Wait, is Mimi going on live too? Mimi's trying to join the event from her phone. <sighs> oh, two Hold people on. Two people on. I am, because I'm not. <laughs> um, get to my page, Mom. We're going to get started in just a few minutes. Come and go. That's okay. How many people we got on, Izzy? Easy. Where my producer at? I'm coming. Y'all, you know you probably in the video, right? No, he's not. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, he was. <laughs> no, actually, no, no I don't he know. wasn't. No. He gonna grow up too. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start? How's it At first it was two, but now it's one. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. Welcome to today's live event. My name is Ezra. My name is Evie. We are joined by our mommy, Beth. They're gone. They're gone. Okay. And our Mimi, Dee Dee. And perspective on what... A perspective on what led them to Sister Watch. Today, we will hear their journey. Let's start with introductions. Please introduce yourselves. How long, how long, you've, how long have you been locked in one word that describes your journey? Okay, so introduction. So, I'm Yvette, and um, I have been locked for almost, for 15 months yeah so 15 months so a little over a year and I would say one word to describe my journey is I would say roller coaster just because it's ups and downs and um yeah that's what I would say mom what would you say um my name is Dee Dee and I've been locked for six months okay <laughs> And six months, I would say my journey has a word that would describe my journey is pretty simplistic. Simplistic, that's a good word. That's a good word. I like that. Well, so it's, it's been easier for you to just, it's been a lot easier than I thought it would okay. be. Come on, okay. Um, how. How or when did you hear about Sister Locks? Like, when was the Sister Locks aware? Locks was aware? Yeah. yeah. So, did you introduce yourself? My name is Evie Creighton, and oh, I did okay. introduce myself. <laughs> and what her dad is. We don't need to know every time somebody get on the live, y'all. Goodness. Um, so, uh, 
what, how and where did I hear about Sister Locks? I actually was, um, I'll try to make this short because it's kind of a long story. So Martez's aunt, Belinda, had just got um, traditional locks, but she has micro traditional locks. So traditional locks are a palm roll, but they're small. And she had just gotten them <clears throat> or was telling us she was getting them. I can't remember exactly when, but I started researching locks because I was interested in them. And I just remember really liking her hair. But um, I wasn't, I liked the way her locks looked, but I was just a little hesitant about the traditional lock journey for me personally. And I just started Googling locks and I came across these images of women with sister locks. I didn't know there were sister locks. They, I just thought it looked like hair. And I was like, why are these like loose hair, you know, like long loose hair. And I was like, why are these women, I mean like, why did these pictures come up? Because I'm searching for locks. And then I found out that they were, I started looking at them closely and they were actually locks. I had never seen them like that. And I just thought they were beautiful. And so I started investigating and researching and just digging into pictures and videos and stuff. So that's how I actually heard about it, like just by doing a Google search on locks and stumbled across Sister Locks. So that's how I first heard about it. What about you, Ma? Who was it, me? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't, I think my Sister Locks, um, I, I did get Sister Locks from Yvette. Um, <laughs> she did all the research. I just watched her grow hers, and I liked it, so I decided that I wanted something different because I was already wearing my hair natural, and so was kind of tired of just, you know, even natural hair is a lot of work just to get a lot, to get a different look, but um, actually... Uh, a friend came over to the house and she had her hair started locks and I really liked her hair but I didn't think my hair would look like that she's she had a lot of hair pretty thick and she had gone all the way to Washington oh um, yeah the state of Washington to, to get that hair. done and I don't know if they were traditional locks I don't know if they were micro locks um, they were smaller than I think traditional locks, but they really looked nice on her. Um, but I certainly wasn't going to go all the way out to the state of Washington. Oh, to get my hair. a lot of people travel far to get their hair. Yes. That's why I was really happy to have found Raquela. To have found, I shouldn't say found Raquela because we are new Raquela, known her for my whole life pretty much. But just mm -hmm. I was her teacher. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but just um knowing that finding out that she was doing locks or sister locks um it was so nice to have found that out and because a lot of people do do a lot of travel is that it did somebody ask a question on it oh uh, no well actually i don't know it says jody tuck don't uh, you don't have to turn it they're just watching okay it was a question oh go ahead ask what's the question uh jody cook Oh, Jody Cook, maybe? Was yeah, it was about? Jody. It was Jody Cook. And, okay. Um, uh, um, I yeah, know. I really liked her hair um, back then. Okay. So I, I haven't seen Jody, <laughs> so I don't know what her, lo what her locks look like now, but I'm sure they're probably pretty long. Okay. Uh, is that it for your answering your question? That I think that answers that question. What other questions? What okay. question do you have next, Evie? Sorry. Okay. 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 How did you know Sister Locks were the best option for you? Ma, you want to start that? Your thoughts? Well, you know, like most black women, we, you know, I went from having hair. Get it all. Yeah. Got a jerk hair. <laughs> having, you know, your hair that your parents cared for. And then, you know, I never had long hair ever in my life. So... Um, just having hair struggles. My hair breaks off easily. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know, I went from having my hair straightened as a kid to permed, which took it all out, to um, jerry curl look. You know, I had a natural in, 
in college, then um, finally went back to having perms, straight perms, and um, but I kept my hair cut pretty short because you know, with all the heat that you put on your hair and curling and all that, my hair just would break off. So it's just easier for me to keep short, short. Then I started wearing braids and from braids, I just kind of traditioned into natural hair. Um, I actually said, I'm not going to put any more perms in it. So I was pressing my hair. Then I got tired of that. One day I said, I'm just going to wash my hair and just, just See wear it. Happened. And I liked it. And from there, um, I just started wearing my hair natural and then I just wanted to try something different. So, um, like I said, I watched Yvette for about six months and decided that I would try sister locks and I was really, really nervous about it. Wasn't sure, um, almost changed my mind, but I'm really glad that I stuck it out after you did it. So for me, I think um, it, there's a lot of different things, that, a lot of different routes that I could go. I had a similar story just in that lots of different hair struggles from weave. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. I love me some weave, y'all. Unbelievable. I, I couldn't wait to get that, that good, that good wavy, that good texture to the weave. <laughs> Unbelievable. I ain't with no shame in my game. I did. I wore a lot of sew-ins. I did. I've had. I wore my hair in a Brazilian blowout for a while. I wore braids for a really long time. I wore braids really for for a while because I was trying to see would I get tired of that look, and I didn't. I was like, okay, I definitely want locks. Um, but one of the things that one of the reasons why sister locks was the lock choice for me or why I knew sister locks was the best option one i was just ready for um a commitment of uh, i actually was ready for that permanent hair style like i was tired of all the other stuff um but one of the things for sister locks in particular was the rigor i actually liked I actually like how rigorous the process is. There's a grid, there's a sizing pattern, you know, all the stuff that, you know, because I'm extra. Research. Right. <laughs> I didn't do all that. Right. And I researched for like <clears throat> years. Like I did a lot of research. I would, you know, my, my, you didn't do hardly no research. I looked at about five me, videos. Me and Aaron was <laughs> like, so Aaron is my older sister. Me and Aaron was like, she ain't gonna get no sister lock. We just knew. We was like, she gonna get down. So when you told us she was getting a consultation, I was like, my mom get a consultation and she get the test locks put in. And then when you, we, I said, Aaron, mom's supposed to be going to get her sister locks today. And when you came back in your head, me and Tess, Tess fell out too. We couldn't believe it. We just knew. We just knew he was gonna back out. But I did a lot of research because I wanted to make sure, and I just it's part of my personality, like everything I need to know to make sure this is the right right decision. But part of it, like I said, I liked the rigor. You have to, you know, to actually officially get sister locks, you got to go to somebody who has been trained. Um, they, you know, it's not just any sizing pattern. I mean, all that stuff to me uh, made me feel a little bit more at ease about the decision that. The likelihood that I was going to get okie doke was slim. So, um, because of all that. But anyway, what question? What other questions do we have? How you going to leave the. <clears throat> you supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, next question. What was your biggest fear in getting started? What was your biggest fear? My, big, my biggest fear was that I wasn't going to like it. And it is costly for yeah. you know for you to decide after you get them all in there that you don't like it it's money and time it's your money mm, it's time yeah. sitting there but mostly my money <laughs> <laughs> and i was like mm, if i don't like this i will have wasted a lot of money so i the biggest fear that I had was that I was going to look crazy. Like the transitioning phase and just like what they call with the um, plucked chicken look. 
that was the thing if you do the research and watch videos a lot of women talk about based on the density of your hair that you can have this really spacey look because you essentially are plaiting your hair in a interlocking pattern all over your head so all your parts for people who have thinner hair all their parts are visible but our hair isn't as thin like my hair is probably average thickness yours is probably about the same i don't think it's thin and so our parts weren't like showing so that was good like not a lot i also think it's because i gray hair mm. my my even when i look at my grid it's still because gray hair is like kind of wiry crazy. it's wiry yeah. it does its own thing and that was another concern of mine it's like one of the things i asked raquel i said have you done somebody with gray hair and she said she had, but it was somebody that was born with gray hair, so I don't know if that counts. But, um, yeah, so that was another fear, just how was my hair going to behave to all of it. But I, the first, those first few days when I had my hair done, it was pretty wild looking. Mine too, I, when I first got my, and then I had, my ends were so damaged, and I had, uh, um, heat damage in so it's like it's almost like having a relaxer at the end of your hair so I had a lot going on and I was like oh goodness you know the parts are visible to some degree um, and it just looked fresh like you just look like you just got I mean there's no other way to describe it it just looks like your hair hasn't settled the texture isn't really there yet um, so I was a little nervous about that and then I had other fears too, just like, you know, what if they unravel or, uh, you know, is my hair, what if my hair doesn't like it and it just does, you know, and then all the other stuff like the itching or the, the, the process that you go through. I had a little bit of those fears and they cost, I mean, I thought about the cost a lot because it is expensive. It's an expensive commitment uh, because there's a lot of time that's invested in, in that install. And so, matter of fact, I the, backed out the first, in 2017, I was going to get Sister Locks, and I backed out. <laughs> and one of the reasons why, <clears throat> I had several reasons why, but one of the reasons was like, I could either buy a couch, or I can get Sister Locks. And we had just moved, and I wanted new furniture. Wait, what, month, so, what time? I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and buy that couch, <laughs> <laughs> instead of getting Sister Locks. But that's how that's how if that gives you an idea of how much uh, I was quoted. It was it was a lot. It was a, it was a hefty hefty price. All right, Evie, what other questions do you have for us? Ah, questions. Um, what was your greatest surprise of when you got Sister Locks? Greatest surprise? What was? Did you have any surprises? I think my greatest surprise was how much. I like them, and other than washing it, your hair, I, I don't like washing. Oh, washing it is the one time that, I, that I'm like, this is a pain, because you have to braid it, or t in my case, I twist my hair and then band the ends, and I don't like having to do that every time I wash my hair, so I'll be glad when it locks, so I don't have to do that anymore. The greatest surprise, I think, um, I think it's the same for me too. Like I was surprised at how much I liked my hair. Um, and it's, it's sort of fascinating to watch your hair try to, you know, just ch evolve. You know, it's, we being, having the natural, loose naturals, you see your curl pattern, you touch the curl pattern, you kind of see what it does. But it, it's interesting to see what it does in a locked form. You know, it's, just, it's, it's hard to explain, but that was kind of a surprise too, just watching the my hair, and it's still changing, you know, watching it change and seeing what that uh, looks like. And like it, oh, and then at that third month for me, it changed so much. I was like, it just overnight, it just kind of swelled a lot. And I was like, oh, wow, I can't believe how much my my hair is, has changed, you know. It's crazy. Um, we have a comment. All right. It says, I'm grateful that my consultant washes. I 
I tried the braiding and banding twice, and it was a wrap for me. Oh wow! Yes, so that's that's a good that's a good point. Like some some consultants, some um, sister lock consultants and, and locticians will actually wash do the washing for you at their salon, um, and then retie. But it is it's you know you got it going on, sis. You got the setup. Um, but yeah, cause it, the braiding and banding is just, it's tedious and, but you know, and, and actually the braiding and banding part ain't the worst part for me with washing the, the part that I can't stand is separating all of my locks, like every single lock. Um, that's a tedious process. So really when you think about what you go through, what I went through on wash day when my hair was loose, but your hair was pretty short. So I don't know. You probably just. You had to you had to set up. You probably just get in there, yeah. wash and rinse. Probably not a whole lot of work. But anything else? Any other questions or comments from our no our few viewers? Three viewers. Yeah, now that that's there right. were six. That one, two, three left. That's okay. Okay. What else? Okay. <sighs> there is a saying that there are no bad hair days with the sister locks. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. I feel like some days the sisters are doing what they're supposed to do and they look great. And then other days I'll be like, okay, sisters, what's going on? What's really going on? But um, one of the things I am surprised about is, uh, that also surprised me, going back to that other question, is the, that you don't have to put product on your hair. Your hair. Yeah. So, you know, when my hair was natural, I was constantly trying this and trying that to get the look that I wanted. So, with Sister Locks, you know, I will occasionally spray my hair with some water and there's some Sister Lock um, uh, product that occasionally I spray on my hair, but mostly I don't do anything. So that was, that's kind of nice. Yeah, like you said, your 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 word to describe your journey, that simplicity, um, it, you know, there isn't a whole lot that you have to do, like, to, to maintain it. Um, but I agree. That, that whole, ain't no bad hair day, for who? Because I had some bad hair days. <laughs> I, when I first got my sister locked, they weren't falling. So I wake up and that stuff be matted over here this way and everything else. Somebody ain't no bad hair. Like, yes. Yeah, I've seen it like um, sometimes when it sticks like to your head. <laughs> it be stuck to my head. Thank you, daughter. Well, I was just saying that. It stuck to, stuck to the back of my head and I be a little crazy. Yes. But no, there are, there are days like um, when I, I don't know, when I first get the, my first, right after of my retie, it looks really fresh and crisp, but that's not really when I like my hair the most. I usually like it the most about a week later when I've gotten a little bit of like body and movement from after having them um, having them retied. And then, like yesterday, I felt like I had a great hair day yesterday, so I was expecting the same today, and it was kind of boring. And I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not true. Not that's not been my experience. next question. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it is my page. <laughs> Where no, what? what has it what has it been like journeying together? Well, like I said, I gave Yvette a head start okay. and I just really watched hers and I really liked her the way her hair um the way her hair was. And I thought, you know, my hair would be just like that. Well, my hair is not just like hers. Um, because, one, it's gray, and again, gray hair does its own thing. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it, everybody's journey is going to be different. But it is nice to be able to have somebody to talk to she had a head start, so I'd be asking her, okay, is my hair supposed to do this? Am I, am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? So I had somebody to, to um, ask questions. 
Um, I would say the same thing. It was nice to be able to, um, one, to just have that head start and be able to say, hey, mom, this is some stuff that I've tried or like here's some, you know, it was only a few months, but it makes a big difference. Um, you know, just even like the tool, I don't know what they doing. What, what, what are y'all doing? Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> even the tool that we use to um, to take the rubber bands out, like sharing, you know, trying trying that out first and then telling you about. It. And then the other thing is, you know, the older I get, the the harder it is to to parent your parents. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know I'd be like, mm -hmm. Mom, you ain't supposed to be doing all that with your hair. She done put rollers in it and the first. <laughs> Right, Quella told me I could, the and she first, told me that I could use some setting lotion the first, on my hair. The first, what was it? The first week or two, <laughs> she uh, got some setting lotion, and I said, "My mom, think you supposed to be putting all that in your hair?" So right, Quella told me I could. So I had to verify. I said, "My mother, did you tell her she can put all that stuff?" And she said, I, "She can do that. It's okay." And I was like, "Okay." Mm, but okay. I've also but found that look at my um, water works just as well. Yeah, water does work just as well. But and what I really like when I do roll my hair is at first it's really tight, but it loosens up and it like it lasts for a long time, longer than you know when I was getting it um, pressed and curled or. Mm -hmm. um, when I had it um, permed and curled, it lasts a long time. So that's been, I mean, it's been, it's fun to do this, like get to do this with you though, mom. Like being able to, you know, look at your hair and see it all. Look at all that. Look at all that beautiful <laughs> bounce the, and curl. It's getting so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, get to talk about. What are, like, the last time I had a retie, I had to get all of my, I had to get a lot of repairs done because I had bunching. Not a lot, but Raquela did help correct some of the locks because they just decided they were going to bunch up. And I could tell you about that and you knew what I was talking about, you know. So, that's been. So that's far, been I've only had two locks that came, came down uh, in my six months of my journey. Don't knock that. Um, so we, y'all know the kids are part of this, and it, it's quickly unraveling. Go sit over here. Sure, it's time on. to quit. But, um, yeah, so I've not, so far I haven't had to have anything repaired. I feel like there are places where my my hair is locked. Um, it's not all, locked all the way to the end. They're still kind of loose on the end, but um, I kind of like it like that. Because of the curl. Yeah, yeah because it it's has its own little curl pattern. Last question. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what advice would you give someone considering sister locks? Like, if someone had sister locks, what would you tell them that's going to so help someone them? Someone thinking about getting sister locks. Hard yeah. thing. Okay. I would say count up the cost because it is not a cheap endeavor. And it is a commitment. It is permanent. Unless you decide to, I mean, you can take them out. I can't imagine trying to take these out without combing all my hair out. Um, I think I'd rather just cut all my hair off. But um, it, it's, it's something you really need to give a lot of thought to and a lot of consideration. It is, I mean, you have to go get your hair retied. I go every five weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes takes her about uh, three hours to retie my hair. Advice. Um, one thing, if you consider doing sister locks, I would be like, go for it. You know, definitely do your research. Um, make sure it's... Uh, do your research. She didn't really do much research. <laughs> I did she actually had, research. She had me... Um, but I did do a lot of research because I just like wanted no, to understand yeah. what I was getting myself into. So I recommend that. And the other thing I would say is, um, make sure that you don't, that you're going to the right person. Like don't just have anybody in your head. Make sure the person that you're, 
that you're looking at the Sister Locks website and that you really are getting Sister Locks if that's what you want. Um, but that would be my my recommendations. I don't think there's just do your research, make sure it's the right thing for you. And also, when you're looking at all of the videos about Sister Locks, um, I've come to the conclusion that. <laughs> Some of those folks not telling the truth because yeah. they've got this tremendous hair growth and their locks look gorgeous from day one and all of that. And I'm like, yeah, right. Well, so it's a lot of misinformation out there, too. Like, so you got to be careful what you there's a lot of on YouTube. There's a lot on social media. And a lot of people are calling things sister locks or whatever. And it's not the same thing. They're, it may be beautiful. But it's not the same thing. It's not also not officially sister lock. So some of that stuff you just gotta be careful of. But I do some of them growth. Um, yeah. Some of that stuff I'm like, how y'all gotta go that fast in that amount of time? Like, mm. um, it's been, in that, it's or you just not being honest about how long it's truly been. I can't wait till I can put mine up in the ponytail. <laughs> And y'all pray my strength because as soon as she get this much hair to put that in the ponytail, it's gonna be a ponytail, and I would be like, "Why? You, you choking them? Today. You choking them, sister? Like, I can get it in a ponytail now if I want to." So, um, but you know, mom, look, the, uh, nothing else really to add unless there's anything you want to add. I know. I think it's funny though. I just want to say this last thing. You ain't got no. Yes. I think it's funny because we talked about like people who have really long sister locks and it's pretty. So we're like, I don't know if I want my hair to get that long, but I ain't never had that much hair. So I might, you know, you might, y'all might see me sitting on my locks one day. You know? So, well, anyway, well, thanks everybody. What, what oh, are wait. our moderators <clears throat> and producers? Do we have any questions? Do you guys have you? any questions to ask? If you guys need to ask any questions. So. What? Any questions or um, if you have questions that come up, uh, if you're not on the live right now and you watch the video later, please feel free to submit your questions in the comments oh. um, and just let us know what questions you have. Are you looking at the comments? Well, no. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm not. Yes, but there's nothing else. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't know this is a video like that's forever. It, well, it'll be on it'll be on the Sister Locks page. On my um, my sister locks experience page. So if you have questions or anything, let us know. And thank you everybody for your time. And thanks, mom, for joining me. And Great video. You. They said that. Yeah. Um, Why did? Um, are we done? Yes. You can stop it now. Okay, that's the Sorry. end of this video. Really. <laughs>